Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. It has been a quiet day for Bitcoin so far and it's not really, um, the structure hasn't really changed at all. So um, compared to my previous video today, the market has only moved a little bit up, a little bit down and I highlighted to you that, yeah, we might be forming a triangle here. Not entirely sure if this counts as a triangle, but it is certainly pretty high level consolidation that we have here. That's how it looks to me. You can, to be honest, interpret quite a lot into this. You could even interpret into this that the larger degree third wave already topped here um, and that we're just sort of forming an A, B, but it's not coming down. It's not coming down. So again, I labeled it as ABC. I highlighted it could also be a triangle. I'm taking the subwave structure out. I mean, it could be a WXY. There are just many options. Again, we're holding support and we are consolidating. So we're moving down and up and down and up in corrective patterns. So that again is pretty much in line with my wave count here. That one more high is still on the micro level, a reasonable expectation. Um, again, I'm intentionally not labeling here the nano structure because yeah, it could be a triangle. It could also be a WXY, which might touch the 38.2 FIB level again. This is the support area. We touched it a couple of times. And as long as we're holding the 57,100, yeah, 30 level plus minus a few dollars, because there is, this is not an invalidation point. So if we break below that level, it's not invalidation. Please consider it's a volatile market. And we also have different markets. We have the futures market. We have the spot market. Also consider there are different exchanges. So um, it, it, it always has to be a sustained break below that 57,100 level pretty much, um, which would confirm that a more substantial top is in place. Until we see that, there is no way for me or anyone to confirm that a top is in place. This, to be honest, looks more like a bullish pennant, which could break out at any point. And therefore, I highlighted to you before, yep, let's focus on higher until that support level breaks. But with the overall information about the context, that I think we are pretty, pretty close to a more substantial top. By the way, before we go to the daily chart, um, it, it would only be an initial indication that break below 57,130. It would really take or it takes a break below that, those swing lows here at around 50,500, yeah, 50,400 to suggest that something more bearish is going on. And I mean, not really bearish, but just sort of a bit of a cool down, I think, because we take a look at the daily time frame, and here you see it's pretty, pretty high consolidation. The market is pushing against the ceiling. I mentioned over the last couple of days that I'd like to see a top in wave three form, um, ideally before we break to new all-time highs. But because we are very close to all-time highs already, um, it is possible that we might just get a wick and then get rejected. Okay, so in this region, I still see it very likely that a top is forming or ha has already formed, but it's not very evident yet. And that's just sort of the context. So it means focusing on higher prices, yes, as long as this support level is holding, but being very much aware that a pullback is due. That I think tells us a lot about the risk. While at the same time, there is the green wave count, which is only the alternative, which allows for a much more direct push to the upside. And that's where the smaller degree time frame comes in. As long as on the smaller time frame we're holding the micro support levels, we also have to consider the green count that might take us quite quite um, quickly actually to 100k, shows you the importance of holding a good core position and not getting too cute, not getting too small with your positions in a third wave rally. Bottom line is, if we get that pullback, yeah, it's likely going to land in that area between the 50% retracement and the 23.6 retracement below or between 39.9k and 51.3k should ideally find support there and then move higher in a fifth wave in the white count yeah, to possibly then new all-time highs. So that push, pullback could be that breather or, well, it, it could be the jump off point that the price needs to push to new all-time highs. Again, if we continue to rally, it's the green count. They are both bullish. And the micro count on the one hour time frame will allow us to track, okay, which one is currently in control. At the moment, to be honest, they are moving together, green and white, so they are not really different. 
But if the microstructure just doesn't break, okay, if the micro count just doesn't break and micro support levels are holding, then at some point when we extend too much and the market is already very, or the price is already very much extended to the upside, well, then we have to say it's the green count. But they're all bullish. All the wave counts I have on this chart are bullish. If there's no pullback, we carry on with the green count. If there is one, it's either white or yellow. Yellow is an even deeper pullback, but they are all bullish um, scenarios. I can tell you what I'm leaning to, and that's the white count, which again has been my preferred scenario for a while. And until, you know, as long as the market respects it, there's no reason to change it. It's been working with us, uh, or we've been working with that count for, for quite some time now. It's um, served its purpose. And yeah, if we have to change to green, we do that. But for now, we, we, we still focus on white because the market is quite extended to the upside. But at the same time, there is no sign of a pullback yet. So therefore, all eyes need to be on that 57,100 level, where at the same time, my preference would be still one more high before we um, start that deeper pullback. Okay, So one more high on the micro level, possibly reaching 68K, that's the next FIP level and then possibly that pullback. It's gonna be interesting. I keep you updated, hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching, bye-bye.